हेलो 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 गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू अवर एफ एम जी मैराथन फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर स्ट्रीमिंग वेल बी समलाक ऑफ जस्ट फिफ्टीन सेकेंड सो कैन आई जस्ट गेट द थिंग वेदर द ऑडियो वीडियो ऑल आर वर्किंग कैन आई गेट अ थम्स अप जस्ट टू सी एंड विल स्टार्ट इन अ मिनट इफ आई कैन जस्ट कम टू नो वेदर वी आर लाइव और नॉट So we just come to know whether are we live or not. Can I get something in the chat box also? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, are we live? Are we live? Uh, we'll just verify in a minute. Yes, I think yes. Okay, thank you all of you. Thank you. Uh, success, the doctor, and yes. So chat box is also functioning. So thank you for joining in today. And uh, is the audio video all clear? Can all of you tell me if the audio and video is all clear? Yes, very good, Dilip Yadav, and all of you. Yes. So let's begin our session. I'm Dr. Puneet Bojani. We are here for the FMG Marathon. Just couple of points before we begin. The NEET PG An Academy. Lots of new interesting features to tell you about. So this is a superb, superb thing. We have done the fabulous recording in the superb studio. This is the NEET PG Vitals where it is completely recorded classes. Live classes will continue as we are taking on the NEET PG live. But this is the recorded lectures. complete preparation for the neat fmge examination as well as the upcoming next examination whenever that is implemented okay so you can have a option of either going only for live classes or you can go for completely vitals which is the recorded classes and combo package is also available what do you have you have got 800 hours of lectures by the top educators clinical mcqs image based mcqs flow charts and mcqs also and super price you can imagine all the 19 subjects are available only at 13500 and mentor m e n t o r so it's a superb thing please all of you just go for this it's a complete preparation i'll show you the faculty list also 13500 mentor is the code to get all the uh, discounts also okay and uh you can have a look at the entire faculty uh, which is there i will be teaching the obgy subject and rest all the superb teachers are there first year second year third year and final year and out of this already 13 14 subjects are live available for you two three more subjects will be added in this month and then remaining two subjects will be added in the upcoming month so all 19 subjects video lectures ranging from 800 hours only at 13500 for the whole year okay and this is another thing which is the master neat pg batch with the rankers uh, module 1 dr zainab will be teaching the subjects and then uh, module 2 and module 3 again this is a two month subscription available only at 699 again the code remains the same m e n t o r so mentor is the code to apply to get the discounts okay and this is the notes which you are going to get uh, free when you take the combo of live and recorded and these are again the discounted price for 12 months 18 months 24 months and even 3 year subscription is available and the code is mentor m e n t o r mentor remains the code okay so we're going to start now with this and this is the last leap marathon by starting from jan 20 till feb 25th two month subscription of the Uh, for the upcoming uh, neat pg examination which is going to be in the march so 102 hours of lecture 
and we will be discussing test and discussion image based mcqs and previous year question okay so with this let us start i want all of you to answer in the chat box also uh, right wrong does not matter uh, these are all the high yield mcqs for the upcoming uh, january fmg exam you want to have a marathon is going to be a one hour session so stay right till the end lots of mcqs we try to cover around almost 10 to 12 mcqs in one hour time okay and this is your all india mock test 22nd january at 9 am it's a free test completely free for all and lucky winners will get the notes and top 50 rankers will also get scholarship uh, and mentorship program from the top educators okay yeah but uh, the doctor yes lots of batches will be coming on online live classes will also be there but right now uh, if you are targeting the june exam please this as i told you quickly enroll in this this vitals will help you complete preparation for your fmg in 100 percent if you master this videos you will pass the examination for sure okay so live batches will be there the doctor who's here but uh, but fmg vitals you can start and start seeing the lectures okay without wasting any time and remember the code mentor okay so now i want all of you to participate and tell me the answers right wrong does not matter yes the first question for the day lh peak all of us know that lh hormone is responsible for ovulation so can anybody tell me the lh peak will precede ovulation by how many hours 12 24 36 48 can anybody tell me yes uh, is the audio and video all clear i think Just a second. yeah i think yes yes so anybody with the answer come on all of you those who are there uh, success the doctor dilip yadav revati shreya kumari anybody right wrong does not matter we are here to learn from the mistakes Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on, all of you. Nobody, nobody. Come on, try. It's okay. Whether you're right or wrong does not matter. I want all of you to uh, answer. Okay. So now please remember uh, point number one, LH peak. LH is responsible for ovulation. Okay. And I want all of you, lifelong, you will not forget. I'm going to give you a simple, simple, simple diagram which will help you remember and there are three variations in this question with this question we are able to solve three mcqs how and why remember all of you that the entire onset onset to ovulation okay is going to take 36 hours is it clear all of you so if the question is from onset to ovulation then you would mark 36 hours as the answer but the question is not that the question is that from the peak now onset to reach the peak okay onset to reach the peak is going to take just a second just a second yes onset to reach the peak this i would call it as the peak this is going to take 24 hours and once the peak is reached in another 12 hours the ovulation will take place very good so uh, shreya kumari correct okay so 12 hours is the answer is this understood to all of you and now i want all of you okay so just keep this simple figure in your mind and never in your life will you go wrong tell me all of you in the chat box onset to ovulation is how much time all of you onset to ovulation is how much time 36 hours perfectly correct onset to reach the maximum level which is called the peak how much time it will take so it will take 24 hours this 36 is divided into this and once the peak is reached when will the ovulation take place 12 hours clap if you feel happy so in one mcq we discussed three mcqs 
remember this is very good adopter and all of it okay so remember this so anything could be asked to you if they ask you this lhp pool if they ask you from the onset it is going to be 36 hours if they ask you from the peak it is going to be 12 hours okay so i hope that is absolutely crystal clear and then we can go proceed for this and this also gives you four mcq that lh is responsible for ovulation which hormone responsible ovulation has also been asked in the past uh, exams okay yes moving on to this okay so there's a match the column is a new kind of pattern which is expected in the fmg examination it comes in your uh, INICT also so on one side contraception is a very very important topic today we are going to have three to four questions from contraception because overall in your FMG examination you are going to get uh, three MCQs two to three MCQs in contraception for sure so on one side I have got the different methods of contraception other side I have got the failure rate okay and let us see what is the answer so anybody and will also describe a lot of other information so that you uh, get uh, the other information also the male condom it is a barrier method okay it's a barrier method of birth control by barrier method you mean it prevents the union of egg and the sperm and very good the male condom has a very very high failure rate the advantages are it is cheap free easily available prevents stds you can have various other uses also but it is a high failure rate of 4 to 14 percent so one is matching with d okay so one is matching with d we'll see what the other options are okay then copper t anybody how does the copper t act any idea copper t is what it's a iucd intrauterine contraceptive device how does copper t act any idea what is the mechanism of action of iucd so iucd how does it act any idea if they ask you so it's a foreign body reaction it's a foreign body reaction within the uterus and basically it makes the uterus unsuitable for implantation and copper t has got very very effective low failure rate of only 0.5 to 1.5 percent so 2 is going with a 2 is going with a uh, no does not reduce the sperm motility that's by the way okay the doctor sperm motility is decreased by copper but the main thing it makes the uterus unsuitable for implantation what is this lng iud i'm also going to show you some picture and sometimes it's one of the most effective methods of birth control failure rate is only 0 0.09 to 0.1% which is 3C 3C and diaphragm is again a barrier method but has got a very high failure rate of 18 to 25 28 so 4 goes with B very good so option number B is the answer is this understood to all of you can I uh, proceed further I repeat the male condom failure rate 4 to 14 percent copper T failure rate 0.5 to 1.5 lng iud is 0 0.09 and diaphragm is again a barrier method but it has got a high failure rate of 18 to 28 percent okay moving on to the next question yes anybody what is this device first identify image based mcq also going to have a couple of images in the exam okay yes okay can anybody identify what is this what is the image showing you can anybody tell me what is this Uh, the doctor it's not only the IUCD it's not only IUCD can you specify yes it looks like IUCD but is it having copper no it is not having copper so can anybody tell me what it is it's not having copper so this is your LNG the question asked is hormone release so it's a hormone releasing it is a levonorgestrel intrauterine yes no copper very good so it's not actually it's not copper tea it's an LNG releasing intrauterine device also called as LNG20 also called as Myrina is this understood to all of you 
Myrina is the brand name, very good. It's a levo nogestrel releasing intrauterine device. We also call it as LNG intrauterine system. So all the names mean the same. And why do we call it LNG 20? Remember here, students, there are two questions. So this is a hormonal barrel and this barrel will contain the hormone. Which hormone? Levo nogestrel. Two MCQs. The total LNG is 52 milligrams. This also has been asked in the exam. Okay, so don't make a mistake. The total LNG is 52 milligrams. It is made in such a way that 20 microgram per day. It's not 20 milligram. It's not 52 milligram per day because the question asks is how much is released per day okay so i repeat this is very very important mcq do not make a mistake and can anybody tell me how many what is the lifespan i can use this device for how long okay so shreya kumar you know the answer is b 20 microgram okay is it clear shreya not a a is not 52 microgram that's a confusion okay is it clear to all of you 52 milligram is the total content okay and anybody how long can i use it if i ask you this device can be used for three years five years ten years if i give you the option three years five years ten years 15 years anybody what's the answer so this is effective up to five years is this understood to all of you so very very important all of you pay uh, attention yes so it's called lng iud or also called as lng 20 or also called as myrina myrina is a brand name total content is 52 milligrams so one slide four mcqs 20 microgram per day of lng so that's the answer over here 20 microgram and effective for five years and look at the failure rate i just now told you 0 0.09 to maximum 0.1 percent okay it's not the least failure rates and can anybody tell me what are the other uses of this device what are the other benefits of this lng device Matlab, other than non-contraceptive benefits where have you heard being used can anybody tell me where else can we use this device What are the other benefits of this device? Okay, so uh, please understand this that this is a progesterone. LNG is a progesterone releasing device, and therefore we can use it for patients of menorrhagia and this because it will decrease. Okay, so I can use it in patients of dysfunctional uterine bleeding, endometriosis, adenomyosis. And since it is progesterone, it can also be used in treatment of endometrial hyperplasia. And it also decreases the risk of CA endometrium. So lots of benefits they have asked you in the exam. I repeat, sir, we can use it for menorrhagia, dysmenorrhea, dysfunction. Why? Because it decreases the blood loss. Okay. It basically decreases the blood loss, which happens during menses. Menses can become scanty, scanty, scanty and menses can even stop temporary okay and endometriosis adenomyosis endometrial hyperplasia and also decrease the risk of ca endometrium is it understood to all of you can we proceed further yes so this is the yes now again a very very important mcq overall pcos very important topic so what is the time of the cycle when i measure LH and FSH levels in a patient of PCOS or PCOD. That means if I have a patient who comes to me, I want to do her LH FSH test. Which day can I do it? And suppose there's one more option, any day of the cycle. And can anybody tell me what is the normal ratio of FSH to LH and what happens to the ratio in PCOS? Yes, anybody? When will I do the FSH and LH in a blood test? Okay, best time to sample LH FSH in a blood. Okay, even blood level, serum. 
blood or serum if i want to measure serum lh fsh okay anybody anybody yes so very very important mcq those who want to become gynecologist remember this lifelong and those who don't want to become gynecologist at, at least tailor entrance exam is over please remember that fsh and lh levels should always be done on day 2 or day 3 of the cycle okay so menstrual cycle that means what am i saying day 2 to day 3 is the answer to this very very important mcq please remember this is definitely coming in your fmg exam okay that means remember that whenever the menses start when the menses start that is called day 1 so while the patient is bleeding on day 2 or day 3 the reason is the reason is yes very good doctor okay the reason is i want to know the baseline level what is the baseline level at the beginning of the cycle because as the cycle will proceed further there is going to be elevated and will get a falsely high reading okay and very good normal patients the fsh to lh ratio is 2 is to 1 this is normal okay and what happens to the ratio in pcos sir in pcos the ratio is flipped inversion 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 is it clear to all of you there is inversion or flipping of the fsh to lh ratio is it clear to all of you so remember the students that 2 is to 1 is a normal ratio and in pcos the ratio of fsh to lh is ulta 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 the reason being lh is going to be very very high okay it's a persistently elevated lh because the patient is not ovulating so lh is going to be very very high in a patient it's a persistently elevated lh okay Uh, yes so remember that fsh level should always be done on day 2 or day 3 of the cycle not shreya kumar not 6th day or the 8th day is it clear to all of you yes okay and so that is an mcq and this is fsh to lh ratio and one more mcq anybody whose criteria we use what's the name of the criteria to make the diagnosis of pcos any idea which criteria what's the name of the criteria any idea very very important mcq what criteria we use to make the diagnosis of pco so totally there are three criteria so see with one mcq we are discussing all the other relevant mcqs also okay so rotterdam criteria please keep this in mind you will have to go back and read in the what are the criteria name rotterdam criteria okay rotterdam is a name of place in europe where this meeting was to bring place took place in 2003 so rotterdam 2003 criteria very good for diagnosis of pcos okay yes moving on the next question yes again very yes very good success very good dr giana uh, excellent okay yes uh, yes that is the necklace of pearl pattern very good that's on ultrasonography a uh, very good uh, success that's one more mcq and sir when i look at a patient of pcos on ultrasonography we have got multiple small follicles okay it's a mis the multiple small follicles which are arranged in the periphery of the uh, ovary which is called as the necklace pattern okay multiple small follicles arranged in the periphery okay necklace pattern a necklace of pearl a string of pearl appearance yes okay and the follicles are 12 or more than 12 2 to 9 they are all small immature follicles so 2 to 9 mm in size okay small follicles 2 to 9 mm in size okay yes now very very important magnesium sulfate all of you is a drug of choice for eclampsia magnesium sulfate is a drug of choice for eclampsia we have to give it first thing for the patient of eclampsia we also have to give it in patients of impending eclampsia when there is severe 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 pre eclampsia with impending eclampsia feature like patient got a headache blurring of vision all that yes and very very important yes so happy all of you uh, uh md abdul hasan dr gaina uh, gyana all of you correct 
four to seven milli equivalents per liter that means that this range at this range the convulsions are going to stop and you should try to maintain uh, this at this range okay any idea what is this so couple of things okay so first of all magnesium sulfate drug of choice for eclampsia that we should know four to seven milli equivalents per liter you should know now can anybody tell me what are the three things to monitor when the patient is on magnesium sulfate when i have given magnesium sulfate to the patient what are the three things what we monitor yes so we monitor the knee jerks okay we monitor the knee jerks we monitor the respiratory rate and very good we monitor the urine output how much should be the urine output it should be at least 25 to 30 cc per hour is this understood to all of you okay so keep all these points in mind knee jerks or deep tendon reflexes respiratory rate and urine output are to be monitored and loss of knee jerks is one of the earliest sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity okay two more things can anybody tell me what is the total dose magnesium sulfate how does the dose we give okay how much is the dose given okay so remember that 14 grams the loading dose that means when there's a convulsion has started the first thing we give is 14 grams okay remember this 14 grams is given usme se 4 gram is given IV. Is it clear to all of you? 4 gram IV and 10 gram is given IM. But 10 gram is a big volume. So you divide it in each buttocks left and right 5 plus 5. Okay. Is it clear to all of you? So 4 gram I will give slowly push IV. Followed that by immediately we will give 5 gram in, in, in one buttock 5 in left 5 in right. So the total dose is 14 grams and then every four hourly after this 14 is done then after four hours you give then only iron okay then five gram iron this is called the maintenance dose okay and can anybody tell me very famous mcq magnesium sulfate toxicity yes alternatively very good what is the drug of choice for magnesium sulfate toxicity because it causes respiratory paralysis yes very good the knee jerks will get depressed cardio respiratory, respiratory paralysis death can also happen calcium gluconate very good okay calcium gluconate is the drug of choice for magnesium sulfate toxicity so see with one mcq so many other extra mcqs we are discussing so all this four to seven what all you monitor what all you do okay yes calcium gluconate very good now again a image based mcq will tell you the transvaginal sonography of the uterus okay we are giving you a clue that is a transvaginal sonography i want the diagnosis first what is the diagnosis and then you tell me the management of this condition is it suction evacuation is it induction of labor is it lscs or ocps what is this okay what is this so this is the transvaginal sonography this is the uterus and what do you see inside excellent success anindam ja giant so what is this okay so what is this is that inside the uterus inside the uterus it is filled with multiple all of you can see this can you see this multiple fluid filled grapes like particle all the uterus is completely filled with multiple fluid filled grapes like vesicle so this is the yes very good the famous 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 mcq the snow storm appearance okay so multiple fluid filled grapes like vesicle within the uterine cavity this is a snowstorm appearance and this is your diagnosis vesicular mole very good v mole or hydratiform mole or molar pregnancy all mean the same thing multiple fluid filled 
grapes like particle okay bleeding pv is the most common presenting feature okay patients mainly come to you with bleeding pv sometimes they can also come with history of passage of grapes like particle doctor i am passing grapes okay and anybody very very important what is the treatment can we induce the labor can i make the uterus contract and can i go for induction of labor never okay never why because if you make the uterus contract part of the grapes will come out part will remain inside giving rise to lot of bleeding and retained products because it's not a well formed pregnancy so here remember students this is the only condition we are not going to induce labor we are not going to do lsc as stupidity don't ever answer that ocpels are not going to work this is very good all of you the treatment is dilatation and evacuation or suction evacuation and all of you will note down that the treatment is suction evacuation irrespective of the size of the uterus irrespective of the uterine size means what whether they tell you whether this is a 8 weeks uterus 6 weeks uterus 10 weeks uterus 16 weeks 20 weeks 28 weeks or 36 weeks whatever may be the size of the uterus the answer will not change is it clear to all of you fortunately we do not get such big vesicular moles today because today pregnancy ultrasonography is done very early and we can make the diagnosis at around 7 8 weeks of this condition when i'm talking of olden days when patient never used to do sonography and uterus used to become big 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 and it and at 20 weeks 26 weeks we used to find out at oh there's a vesicular mole still the answer is suction evacuation okay so to fool you they can tell you that this uterus is say 24 weeks or 26 weeks size still the answer is suction evacuation yes this is understood to all of you so uh, complete molar pregnancy very famous no stroma appearance uh, and the treatment is suction evacuation irrespective of the size of the uterus okay so keep all these points in mind very very important one of the most important mcq 100% coming in this fmge something to do with this quadruple marker test this test is for what when is it done how is it done and what does it include and i will teach you not only quadruple marker i will teach you three test double triple quadruple all anybody with answer yes 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 a b c d chalo all of you very good okay yes so point number 1 quadruple marker test is done between 16 to 18 weeks of gestation when the lady is 16 to 18 weeks pregnant we do it it is done for what it is done for what it is done for it is a screen first of all is it a confirmatory test or it's a screening test okay it is a screening test for what for trisomy 21 or down syndrome is this understood to all of you yes so it's a screening test for down syndrome keep that point in mind trisomy 21 ke liye and what is the sample for it how do i do the test any idea how do i do the test it's a very common mistake students make when i ask this whether do i do blood is a test with what amniocentesis cvs so please understand this it's a screening test maternal serum it's a simple test no not on asim raj not on fetal skull beta okay completely wrong it's a screening test done on mother's blood okay mother's blood is taken very good dr bean okay maternal serum is taken and what do i measure so before that first of all a quadruple marker test hai. let me tell you what is trip 
ट्रिपल मार्कर टेस्ट टी एम टी सो ट्रिपल मार्कर टेस्ट में वॉट वी डू सो इन ट्रिपल मार्कर टेस्ट थ्री थिंग्स आर टेकन एच सी जी आल्फा फीटो प्रोटीन एंड अनकॉन्जुगेटेड ईस्ट्रीओल very very important mistake many student mark estradiol that is wrong it is not estradiol it is estriol okay so hcg alpha fito protein and unconjugated estriol if we measure that is the triple marker test okay now can anybody tell yes so doctor uh, gayana correct very good yes dr gana okay yes screening test very good shreya kumari so now can anybody tell me suppose if the baby is having trisomy 21 what happens to the values what happens to the values in this hcg alpha fito protein unconjugated estriol is it clear to all of you e s t r i o l yes so hcg arrow up other to arrow down is it clear to all of you that is the interpretation we are not supposed to remember the values even i don't know the value but if hcg is higher than normal and other two are lower than normal then it's a doubt please understand it's a screening test it's not a confirmatory test it's a doubt that the baby may have doubts and when to this One, two, three. What is the fourth marker? So the fourth marker is inhibin A. When inhibin A is added, then that becomes our quadruple marker test, and therefore the answer is HCG alpha fito protein estriol inhibin A. Option number A is the answer. Is this understood to all of you? And inhibin A also. the arrow is up it is higher than normal so you need to know everything so it's two up two down okay i repeat if the baby is having trisomy 21 two will be up which two inhibin a hcg will be higher than normal alpha fito protein estriol will be lesser than normal i hope it is absolutely crystal clear and we also need to discuss what is the dual marker test anybody dual marker test and what is the time when i do the dual marker test so only two compounds so triple marker test is done at 16 to 18 weeks quadruple marker test is also done at 16 to 18 weeks beta inhibin higher than normal i told you na inhibin will be higher than normal okay okay uh, so, uh, okay uh, dr b inhibin levels will be higher than normal in the baby having trisomy 21 okay yes very good success the dual marker test is done between 11 to 13 weeks of gestation is done in the first trimester okay and since they are only dual two things what it is hcg and pap a okay hcg and along with it p a p p a pregnancy Associated plasma protein A. I repeat the full form: pregnancy associated plasma protein A. And HCG arrow will be up, and Pap A arrow will be down. That means HCG, if it is higher than normal, Pap A is lesser than normal. Then you have a doubt that this baby. may be having trisomy 21 or down syndrome okay is it understood to all of you so everything in and out we should know what are the markers what happens so they can ask you multiple questions that all are true except that cg up at cg down in even a multiple mcqs can come to you on this topic okay dual marker triple marker quad and all these are the screening test can anybody tell me which is a confirmatory test what is the confirmatory test so the confirmatory test is what so you me 
सक्सेस वेरी गुड बट एमनियोसेंटेसिस करके उसका क्या कलर देखना है माई गुंडू सीड्स कलर के वो हाउ इज द कलर ब्लू ग्रीन व्हाइट येलो उसको टेस्ट करना है नो एमनियोसेंटेसिस एंड देन डू वॉट एमनियोसेंटेसिस इज अ टेस्ट टू गेट द सैम्पल द कन्फर्मेशन इज कैरियोटाइपिंग ओके कैरियोटाइपिंग इज द अल्टीमेट थिंग इट इज द कन्फर्मेटरी टेस्ट ओके बेबीज कैरियोटाइप वेरी गुड मूविंग अहेड अगेन अ मैच द कॉलम दीज आर द कंडीशन एंड दिस इज इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस और विच इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज प्रिफर्ड in which condition come on very very important mcq that what investigation you generally prefer or is done for which condition anybody what is this asherman syndrome any idea what is asherman syndrome so endometriosis is a condition where the endometrium is growing at places outside the uterus okay so if this is the uterus the lining of the uterus the endometrium is outside there are endometriotic lesions and implants and what do we get inside the ovary if this is the ovary what will i get any idea yes what do we get is we get a brownish chocolatey darkish blackish brownish yes retrograde menses and we get a chocolate cyst along with the chocolate cyst very good in the ovary you get this blue black red color matchstick burnt spots okay jelly red blue color lesions so i need to do a laparoscopy laparoscopy is putting in a telescope into the abdominal cavity and seeing is believing so laparoscopy is going to help me endometriosis laparoscopy is the investigation of choice is it understood to all of you very good uh, dr bean excellent and asherman syndrome is because of excessive curettage and what is asherman syndrome sir it is intra uterine adhesions presence of so everything is inside the uterus and how will i make the diagnosis sir by putting in a telescope through the cervix and seeing the adhesions and you can even break the adhesions so here i would want to do a hysteroscopy so asherman syndrome hysteroscopy so 1b 2a 1b 1b 2a 2a yahan pe hai dekhenge aage and fibroids the simple ultrasonography so 4d and torsion whenever there is a torsion the pedicle it will twist and color doppler color doppler is compulsory to find out ovarian torsion okay which of all ovarian cysts can undergo torsion but dermoid remember this one more mcq dermoid cyst is the one is maximum chance of ovarian torsion okay so dermoid cyst we have got maximum risk of torsion and we need to do color doppler so 3 is c and 4 is d it is not 3d okay it's not 4c yes so 1b endometriosis 1a nahi hai to ye out hai 1a nahi hai okay option c is the answer this is understood to all of you i hope it's absolutely crystal clear asherman syndrome intrauterine adhesions and hysteroscopy is not only the treatment you also can do a surgery okay you can also treat it so asherman syndrome hysteroscopy is done for both 
ट्रीटमेंट एंड डायग्नोसिस एज वेल एज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑल्सो वी डू हिस्ट्रोस्कोपिक ओनली ओके और आशरमैन सिंड्रोम यस मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो वॉट इज इट अ क्लिनिकल केस बेस दिस काइंड ऑफ क्लिनिकल केस ऑल्सो कमिंग अप इन द अपकमिंग एफ एम जी एग्जामिनेशन लॉन्गेस्ट क्वेश्चन डोंट बीन हरी टू मार्क रीड इट ओबेस पेशेंट्स प्राइमी ग्राविडा फोर्टी वन वीक्स पोस्ट डिटिजन टू क्लूज आर गिवन टू यू two clues given to you that sir we have a obese patient we have a 41 week post dated patient after 15 minutes of pushing head delivers but then retract back against the perineum very important clue and this is giving away the answer baby shoulder fails to deliver what is it what is the condition all of the following appropriate self management except can anybody tell me what has happened so this my dear friends very very important this is shoulder dystocia very good okay rarely as topic but may come okay shoulder dystocia very very nowadays frequent is okay so oh, okay so basically the head delivers head delivers but the rest of the baby okay so the head delivers and then the shoulder hits the pubic symphysis what is happening is that this is the pubic symphysis and the shoulder is over here the head is outside the vagina okay the head of the baby has delivered and since the shoulder will get stuck the baby's head hits back against the perineum anybody what is this called as i hope all of you are following me on the an academy uh, app okay an academy there is a community please go and follow me every day i am po i'm posting every alternate i post some mcqs one one mcqs you can solve every day almost every day okay so this is the turtle sign very famous okay so all of you just install the an academy app is a community and you can follow me so that you are there when and and there i'm i'm solving mc i'm i'm giving you mcqs to solve okay so this is a turtle sign where the head of the baby is the fetal head head will hit back against the perineum okay this is the vagina baby's head hit backs against the perineum okay so that is the turtle sign and this is shoulder dystocia and what are we supposed to do yes sir give episiotomy call for extra help of course and flex the maternal legs upon the abdomen hyperflex and abduction this is the mac roberts maneuver i repeat hip hyperflexion onto the maternal mac roberts maneuver and perfectly correct we are never going to give fundal pressure why never give fundal pressure because the condition will worsen all of you look on the board that what will happen if i give a fundal pressure if you give a fundal pressure the shoulder will further hit against the pubic symphysis the condition will worsen i have to give supra pubic because whatever part has to deliver i want the shoulder to come down like this and deliver so supra pubic pressure is what you will give is this understood to all of you so turtle sign yaad rakhenge very famous mcq and never give fundal so all of the following are to be done except is the question so the answer is option number a you don't ask the nurse to give fundal pressure fundal pressure never the condition will worsen okay and obesity big baby macrosomy diabetes all these post dietism other risk factors for development of shoulder dystocia yes very famous mcq all of you should know this by heart the formula or the dose for medical termination of pregnancy which can be done up to 9 weeks okay remember 9 weeks tak de sakte 9 weeks or 63 days chalo so i also asked in the last year's MC, uh, fmg exam 100% coming in this so remember there is a combi kit like this kit is available 
okay a kit is available what are the two medicines anybody so this single tablet is what everything we should know the single tablet sir is mifepristone what does it do so mifepristone it is a anti progesterone medicine it's a anti progesterone we give this single tablet 200 mg 200 mg this is given on day 1 i am writing day 1 okay so remember students mesoprostol directly you don't give this is out because you don't give meso first similarly ye option may be meso first hai so that is out okay that is how you rule okay and mifepristone is given first it is always mifi followed by meso mifi and then meso very good okay so this is 200 mg it's a anti progesterone and followed by that after 48 hours on day 3 on day 3 so day 1 day 3 and then you give pge1 analog mesoprostol is that also is asked to you that what is mesoprostol so it is pge1 and perfectly correct sir each tablet is 200 microgram 200 microgram so total into 4 becomes 800 microgram is this understood per this is generally given per vaginal okay 800 microgram per vaginal okay is it clear to all of you so that is how it works and therefore uh, that will make the uterus contract and cervix will dilate and the product so this is the answer sir mifepristone 200 mg and mesoprostolate macro after 48 hours any confusion any doubts and please make sure you need to rule out a topic before giving the drug and also make sure we do a repeat ultrasonography to make sure that all the products are completely out sometimes a repeat course of medicine or curettage may be required if there is incomplete uh, empty okay so we need to repeat ultrasonography generally after 10 to 14 days okay so mifi day 1 day 1 is mifi and day 3 is meso yes perfectly correct and don't make the mistake in the doses it is not 200 uh, this is not 200 microgram so this option is wrong okay here the units have also been changed so keep in mind okay option c yes very good moving on again very important mcq which of the following is a indication for surgical management normally sir we prefer any idea wherever possible for a ectopic pregnancy what is the treatment of choice and what is preferred no if it's a stable patient i would like to give medical management yes or no yes okay so anybody wants the drug of what drug are we talking about when to go for medical management okay so surgical ek hai yes excellent asim raj methotrexate mtx methotrexate injection intramuscular okay methotrexate is the preferred treatment or management for ectopic pregnancy when the patient is stable first thing patient should be stable second thing preferably the fetal cardiac activity should be absent and hcg level should be less than 5000 micro international units per ml so if you can see it's a b c d all are suitable candidates for giving methotrexate but the sac size okay the sac size should be less than 4 cm okay the gestational sac as measured on ultrasonography so if any of this that means if they give you so what is the meaning of this question is that when will i the meaning is that when will i not give when will i not give methotrexate methotrexate when will i not give and go for surgery so if it's a ruptured ectopic pregnancy 
Is it clear to all of you? If it's a ruptured ectopic, go for surgery. If they give you that the sac size in the MCQ is say 5 to 6 centimeters, so the sac size is more than 4 centimeters. Or if they tell you HCG levels are more than 5000. Okay. Is it clear to all of you? So that's the answer over here. That's the size of size of ectopic more than four centimeter. You will then go for surgical. So which of the following is the indication for surgical management? Is it clear to all of you? Yes. Now, very, very important MCQ. What is this? This is a hysterosalpingography, HSG. I'm going to show you two important back-to-back -back HSGs and clear all your doubt. Anybody? So what is this HSG showing you? yes so first of all very good all of you so first of all we should know how a normal hsg looks like so sir normal hsg is a triangle cavity triangle cavity again remember history is done on day eight or day nine of the cycle okay it's a test for tubal patency but we also get idea about the uterine cavity so we push the dye and normally the uterus is triangle then we get a very bouncy wavy tubes and then what happens to the dye the dye will fall in the pelvis this is called as what anybody this is called as the spill of the dye so spill of the dye and therefore this is a normal hsg this is a normal hsg but here if you see all of you can see this that sir we are only seeing one side uterus and then only one side fallopian tube you can see like this like this like this as if it is a banana shaped uterus very good the famous or also called as the unicornoid so this is not a normal hsg asherman syndrome will give you multiple filling defects how asherman syndrome will look will be like this in Asherman sir there are adhesions inside so Asherman syndrome we get multiple filling defects multiple filling defects is your Asherman syndrome okay is it clear to all of you okay so this is a very famous mcq where you can only see sir one half of the uterus or one side of the uterus so this is a banana shaped uterus or the unicornoid uterus now one more very very important mcq back to back just to confusion so normal hsg i showed you i hope it is understood to all of you triangle cavity no filling defects complete opacification tubes and are this okay now suppose one more point okay suppose if the tube is not seen only like this picture you get then what will we call it so that is bilateral cornual blocks or it could be spasm okay bilateral cornual blocks cornu means the first part so if only the uterus is seen because the tubes are not seen tubes not seen so bilateral tubes are blocked okay and now this image anybody this was again identify the uterine anomaly so now you know look at the cavity look at the cavity and tell me what it is unicornuate now you know so unicornuate is going to be only one horn like this and one side fallopian tube which it is patent okay yes so now this is always a confusion between a septate and a bicornuate okay so i'm going to clear the confusion all of you please pay attention that septate uterus where is the septum septate uterus remember students the septum is projecting within the uterine cavity yes or no yes if this is the uterus if this is the uterus and the septum is projecting inside isn't it the septum is projecting inside the uterine cavity yes very good Guyana, jb and asimra you have to see the angle so now all of you tell me if this septum 
this septum is going to cause a filling defect is this understood to all of you the septum die will not enter okay so what is happening to the two horns the two not the two horns i would say the two part what is happening is that this and like this isn't it so the angle angle when i push the die when i push the die what will happen suppose this is the die suppose this is the die what will happen to the die so the die will come all the way over here over here over here and this is how the picture will look like exactly the same so the angle it is basically a acute angle what is bicornuate uterus so there are two separate horns so what is it the two horns are wide apart isn't it and therefore the angle what we see is going to be a obtuse angle okay so yes difficult for you it's not 100% confirmatory please understand hsg is not confirmatory but here if you see the angle clearly between the two horns is lesser and therefore septate uterus is the answer to mark is this understood to all of you if you get a hsg where sir one horn is this side and other horn is this side too widely then you mark it as bicornuate is this understood to all of you okay so please keep this in mind that two wide horns yes and very good confirmatory is by hysterolaparoscopy where we put in the telescope from above and from below and confirm and find out the anomaly is this understood to all of you yes so i repeat unicornuate uterus normal uterus triangle cavity because hsg is coming for sure normal uterus triangle cavity both the spills unicornuate uterus banana shaped uterus only one horn seen and two horns but they are having a acute angle that will be a septate uterus and the treatment for septate uterus i also tell you and by corner two horns wide apart so obtuse angle and what is the treatment for septate uterus so the treatment for septate uterus is hysteroscopic okay you will go through the uterus and you will go inside the uterine cavity okay again this is a very famous mcq you go inside the uterus with your hysteroscope and you cut the septum okay so septate uterus the treatment is hysteroscopic septal adhesions okay hysteroscopic septal resection where right? didelphes will be completely two separate even the didelphes is complete duplication okay so we'll see even two cervices okay complete duplication is didelphes so two uteruses two cervixes that is your per speculum also we'll see two cervixes two vagina complete duplication okay is it clear yes so i hope all of you had a great time today i wish all of you a best of luck for the upcoming fmg so many mcqs we discussed and all these are going to be extremely helpful to you for the upcoming examination and i wish all of you best of luck for the fmg examination do well those who have followed my lectures will definitely 100% clear the exam and uh, we are no we do not shaking bed absolute okay and all of you it's a request that join this neat pg vitals the lectures are super quality we have done the recording taken a lot of efforts to record in the studio and mentor is the promo code and get this at a highly 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 descriptive price exam will be simple focus on the main topics like infertility contraception fibroids and in obstetrics the topic of ectopic pregnancy placenta previa abruption all this and very important dual marker triple marker quadruple so most of the important points i have tried to uh, give you uh, in this F in this session go back and see the video very very important we solved many mcqs which could uh, help you and many of the questions are likely to come in this upcoming uh, fmg examination so best of luck for your uh, thank uh, uh thank you asim rajan please follow me on the unacademy app also so that you can get lot of information we are keeping we are conducting test so just download the unacademy app and you will get all the information 
and join the community follow me where i'm going to we give mcqs also every day we put the mcq okay so bye bye best of luck all of you do very well for the upcoming fmg examination and see you also on the portal for the live classes and recorded lectures and also in the neat pg vitals bye bye best of luck thank you very much see you soon and best of luck for the exams